First I'd like to thank you kindly for the chance to spend some time under the rays of joy you rain upon me. I don't deserve to this day. I spent my life without you once or twice in some sparkling hill to more. Now, I never came from a food background. None of my family have had anything to do with the food world um, in any capacity. So, um, my background for my family, my, my father in the British forces, I was supposed to follow in the footsteps. And at 15, I was all signed up, ready to go into the British Army. I decided at the last minute when they put a six year contract in front of me. But by the time I would have that done at 21, I was just too old, so I decided to go to cooking. And so, I don't know why, it, it's very random, actually. I, you know, I, I didn't start out thinking that I would ever be a chef, um, but it was what spoke about this to me, like food, just, and, and being around food, and the aspect of preparing food. And um, it just went that way. It wasn't like I went on holiday to France and I ate something and it stuck in my mind or a grandmother that I used to cook with, none of that stuff. Just ran it. First kitchen job was at a restaurant called Lescago in London. Um, I was 15 when I started. I left home and I started full-time work. Um, and it was, it was like freedom. It was absolutely amazing. Um, at that age, I couldn't wait to get out of the house anyway, away from my father and what have you. So for me, it was like, well, it was starting life, obviously, you know, an adult life. And it was just absolutely amazing to be um, in a completely new environment and something that I knew I wanted to do um, when I first stepped into the kitchen, that this was me. This is my soul. This is my passion. This is who I am as a person, as reflected in the career that I've chosen. It chose me, I didn't choose it. At Pierre Gagnier, well, you know, it changed my life in many ways. The way I thought about food, or what I thought I knew about food until I went there. Um, my approach, the philosophy, my mentality with who I am as a chef, my ideas of food, my ideas of the role of being creative as being a chef. In the kitchens that I'd worked in, it was very traditional French, and it was fantastic to learn that. But working with Pierre just just changed the way that I approach food and that it's okay to think about food as a, as a global thing, as a living, breathing organism, as something where there's a fluidity and a, a spontaneity in the cuisine that it's, it, to embrace it is it's wonderful. It's like looking at a painting for the first time and just seeing what others can't was working with him. For me, the most important thing with hiring someone is, is definitely the, the mentality and the attitude. They don't have to know how to cook. I can teach them how to cook. But if you, the strong mental attitude, um, the willingness to go beyond and push themselves for themselves, Ultimately, I'm very realistic that I know that the people that come work for me, the young cooks I did when I was working for Pierre and Marco and these guys, they're going to want to go off and run their own kitchens and hopefully go on to win Michelin styles and be successful in their own right. My job is to shape them and mold them and prepare them for that challenge. For me, it's looking at someone and seeing through them into what's inside here. They don't have to be the most gifted. They don't have to be the quickest but they have to have that inner strength where I can see that they're willing to open their mind, to learn, to be able to um, have commitment and focus on what they're doing every day. And if the right mental attitude is there, they can soak up the knowledge, they can take the direction and they can put it in and make it their own. And then when they move off eventually, I've prepared them to be successful. Well, Grand style of cuisine is very much more based on more along the bouillie lines, you know, technique. He's a unique chef, you know, he's someone that for America, he is the Ferran Adria of America. You know, the cuisine that he 
puts on the plate and the linya is of that ilk. Um, and so I think he, he has his own category, as Faran has his own category. As Gagnier has his own category. And he has French, but he's not Ducasse, he's not Guisabois, he's his own style. Um, Grant is Grant. He produces a, an amazing cuisine. I mean, incredible, absolutely mind blowing cuisine that is definitely more of the modern style of cuisine, obviously, than let's say what Nova's doing. You know, um, I, I would say I'm kind of in the middle somewhere. I'm not as modern as that, but I'm definitely not as sort of natural ish, farm to table esque as kind of the Nordic style. Nordic region now is what Spain was 10 years ago. The new sort of thing of the world that everybody's like looking to and being influenced by. I would say that South America will be the next next. There are ingredients, there are techniques down there that very few people, unless you're there, have seen. Alex Alda, you know, he's getting a lot of recognition, but again, he's not as well known as it's a plant. Because of the geographical location, of course. but. In incredible cuisine. I mean, very interesting. Um, again, because of a lot of it comes from the local terroir of, let's say, the Amazon basin, where you know I don't I don't know <laughs> even one percent of what's there. He uses it on a daily basis, and there are some incredible things there. Which you know, you take a technique, which is a Spanish technique, but you're using it something like the local Amazon cherries or the fresh cashew pulp. Things which, unless you're there, you'd never taste, you'd never see. But when you taste them, which I've, I've been blessed to be able to taste it, it's like, my God, this is crazy. The flavor, this texture, I've never had anything like it before. And so I, I would think that that is the next frontier. It, it, just my opinion, would be the next frontier of what the world would be looking for in terms of gastronomic um, Wake up. I'm a very simple eater for breakfast. Something like a, a, a cup of tea and a croissant, because that's the French in me as well. So the British and French thing going on there. Lunch would be something nice and light, like bar massa. Just some, some beautiful, simple, clean, crust cuisine of. I love massa. Love it. Um, and dinner would probably be some esoteric Thai place and cooking some like syrup pie or something like this. Very simple. And maybe maybe a nightcap and you know, weather up or something like that. Okay, cute. And travel is, is another one that inspires me. I think that that's quite a common one for most chefs, seeing new cultures and not just from a food point of view, but you know, um, when I went to South Korea for the first time, I went to Seoul and just the custom of the way of eating, um, the rhythm of the dinner was very interesting. Um, and not necessarily the food itself. And it's an inspired way of, of just ideas and feeling of, of how to approach maybe what I do in a different way. Um, but travel, culture, definitely. Art, music, um, obviously reading, obviously uh, ideas. You know, that, that's all, all combined, not one particular thing. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Because um, Mary Queen, his wife, did an amazing cover. Did you hear it? Of uh, Brian Ferry's Love, Love is, is Your Love Strong Enough? Brought tears to my eyes. It's, it's just, it's so powerful, just beautiful. You know it's a Trent Reznor production because the rhythm and the feeling of it. But I look at his music in the same way and I get the same inspiration as I look at Ganya's cuisine. There's a rhythm to it, but it's, it's, it's very layered. It's very, the structure when you strip it down is very, um, it's very simple actually. It, it's not that complicated, but the genius is taking the, those elements of spontaneity and rhythm and layering them all up on one another so that when you listen to the final thing, it's like, it's the little, 
details in the track that just, you know, whether it be the pitch or whether it be uh, uh, the keyboard in the back, just the rhythm of it. Uh, it's incredible.